Jeff. Jeff. Wake up, Jeff. Huh? My name's Jeff Fat, and I'm the original Purple Wiggle. It used to be Anthony that would fall asleep and the children got to wake Anthony up. But it really suited me because it was a, a bit of a mask. I'd, I'd actually say I'm very shy and introverted. One, two, three. <laughs> because I was the only non-preschool teacher and I had very little experience in dealing with children. It was a way of getting me involved on stage and as it turns out it's such an empowering thing for a child to be able to wake up a grown-up. I do recall Anthony said you know that this is going to have quite a lasting impact so you you won't be able to, able to live this down from here on. <laughs> Originally our skivvies weren't skivvies. On the very first album cover, we were wearing these very bright, garish looking shirts. To be able to have one particular colour was easier for a child to identify who the, the wiggle was. So we each rushed out and laid claim to a particular colour skivvy. The red and the blue were already chosen. So I chose purple, which really suited me. And um, Greg ended up with the yellow skivvy, which I would not have liked to have had. <laughs> I grew up in uh, northern New South Wales in a, a small country town called Casino. My father was a, a storekeeper and um, he and his brothers had a general store in Casino called Kwong Sing and Company. We never felt like outsiders except we would get sporadic racist slurs, but that was, that was not the majority of the time. There were five children in the family and we were all made to learn piano and that was invariably at the local convent. There was a very strict learning process, sometimes involving the, the ruler and the, <laughs> the wrap across the knuckles. <laughs> and that was in the 60s, so at, when I became a teenager I, I became more interested in things like Beatles, Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin and um, Jimi Hendrix. That happened to be uh, our sound guy, Peter Mackey, who was in the, the Dorothy costume. Well, I don't know why, maybe the real Dorothy was sick at the time. <laughs> we had the trailer, we had a uh, suitcase full of cassettes. Greg would set up the PA, so it was all, it was all um, hands-on. It was like a big adventure for us, so we didn't know what was going to happen from one day to the next. In America, we got to the point where we were actually touring around the country with three cast and crew tour buses and three fully laden semi-trailers. I do recall the time Robert De Niro was in the audience. Yeah, Robert De Niro was there to see us, but it was really we were there to see him. <laughs> there would be people going past my house in the very early hours of the morning, somewhat intoxicated, calling out, wake up, Jeff. Now, the, the irony is that I would be away on tour most of the time. I have actually, <laughs> have actually heard it, and I still hear it now, on a sporadic occasion. I was driving home one evening. I started feeling a bit faint. Before I could pull off the road, it just really overcame me and basically had a blackout. The next thing I knew I was coming to and there was this tree in front of the, the van I was driving and I thought, whoa, yeah, that, that could have been the end. I was told to have my heart checked and they found um, that I have an irregular heart rhythm. But they also said that my heart actually stopped for a few seconds. There were years of invincibility, so it seemed, having a pacemaker implanted. That really was a wake-up call for myself to be able to see that the wiggles cannot go on. I mean, you can't go on in perpetuity. So that, that really made the decision for me to hand the reins over to some new wiggles, all the more easier. Anthony called me one day and said, would you like to come down to the studio and record some children's songs? Well, I asked him, how long is this going to take? 
And he said, oh, probably a few hours. And it sort of like took really 20 something years after that. <laughs> The ongoing jokes that would happen backstage, you know, tired old jokes, but still it was, it was fun. Yeah, that, that aspect of it, um, yeah, you really miss. I don't think you ever stop being a wiggle. I pinch myself all the time. Um, it's such a, it's such a privilege that I've had. To know that you're part of families, like, all around the world, it's, um, it gives you a really great warm feeling that, that you're part of their family. It's, yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs>